I would argue that we're in much worse than a recession here right now, warns Greg Manorino, financial strategist, and founder of Trader Selection. The yield curve is extremely inverted, at this point and, the global economy is in free fall, it won't stop, shouts Daniela Cambone. The system demands the creation of debt every day by every possible mechanism, explains Manorino, noting that the government intends to exercise greater economic control over the people. He concludes that the Fed has only one tool in their arsenal, and, how they can manipulate the debt. That's it. Listen to the full podcast to understand what's going on the global market, and are we heading a serious debt crisis? Please follow us on YouTube and open your notifications for further podcasts. Enjoy. Gregory Manorino of TradersChoice.net. Greg, so nice to finally meet you. Welcome to my show. Well, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. And I think it's going to be just fantastic. (laughs) Me too. And just a preface, I just want to say, we have tried to connect in the past, but timing and life and whatever just got in the way. So this is the perfect moment to have Greg on. So it's our first time speaking. Set up the landscape for us of you know, where you think we're headed. So let's start by talking about the Fed. I know this is one of your favorite topics of conversation. As we're speaking, there's talk that 100 basis points may be on the table for the next meeting. When you hear this, what do you think? I don't think 100 basis points is going to happen, honestly. I, I Probably another 75. But, you know, in the grand scheme of things, what does it really matter anyway? What are they trying to do? They're selling people an epic lie. I think it's the biggest lie or deceptive management policy regarding inflation in the history of the freaking world here. They, they're trying to convince people. It's, it's insane to me. They're trying to convince people that by nudging the federal funds rate, you know, incrementally, oh, it's really going to help inflation. We're going to be fantastic. It's going to be great for everybody. How about no? All this is doing is guaranteeing inflation to continue to surge higher. They know it. And I think anyone with a functioning brain cell, know, just one, realizes that's the same story here. But it's not going to change here. Uh, the, the current environment is so twisted and so upside down, you know, it's very difficult to make heads or tails of what's going on. But what we do realize, I think we should all know, is central banks are not done. They're going to continue to inflate. They're going out of their way to create more inflation. They're strangling to death an entire class of people. I've been pushing this narrative now for I don't know how many years. And it's in our face. It's going on right now. It's going to get worse. And people need to prepare for a worst case scenario. Um, the global economy is in free fall free fall. And the action of central banks proves it. Look at what they're doing. The European Central Bank now with unlimited bond buying. you got the Federal Reserve with some kind of backdoor program here to uh, to buy all the debt. And that's what their goal is, to own it all. That's the goal of central banks in aggregate is to continue to buy assets with their own product that they just magically created out of thin air. So that's the scenario. That's where we stand right now. We have a managed market. We have central banks in here trying to control the yield curve, uh, uh, continuing to inflate global debt on an unprecedented scale here. Uh, And then you have the propaganda ministry, the mainstream media, you know, playing the game, reading their scripts out here, trying to convince Mm -hmm. people that what they're seeing with their own eyes isn't real. So let's just hone in on the inflation talk. Is it is it a hoax? For you, is it real? What are your thoughts really on, you know, inflation over 9%? Is it because we've just manifested it because we've been talking about it for so long? Oh, the inflation's so bad. Oh, prices are so high. I mean, how do you, what's your take on inflation specifically? Well, you know, this is a no-brainer here. We've had central banks here for now well over a decade doing nothing but inflate, creating cash out of thin air, buying assets with it. It was only a matter of time here before all of this money creation was going to present the current issues that we have. Uh, It's economics one-on-one. It's all of these extra bills existing in either digital or physical form here, finally chasing the same amount of goods. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to figure this stuff out. Uh, And their own numbers are just all nonsense anyway. I think everyone realizes that, you know, the data is all fake. You know, it's it's interesting. We just recently found out, this is laughable, they're saying, oh, what was this last week? I think it was reported. 
reported that food inflation year over year is just up 10.4%. How many people are paying just 10.4% more for their food? I think it's more like, it's over 50, maybe in some cases, 100% more. Absolutely. So it's just more the deception, more the distraction, but this just is so simple to understand. The goal here, uh, of central banks is is to foster in a new system, period, the end. And how they're doing this is by strangling people to death via um, uh, surging inflation. That's why they're going, they continue to go out of their way to create more of it. Um, and you know, what, what's going to happen? At one point, people are going to say, I've had enough. What did we also find out recently? 75% of middle income, by their own data, 75% of middle income earners here in the United States, they can't make it anymore. Uh, and, you know, you got a stock market that has been rallying re recently off the continuing bad economic news. It's astonishing to see. Nothing makes sense. If you really sit back and understand what's happening, then it will make sense to you. The system is designed seriously to destroy an entire class of people, create more inflation, push wealth up to the one percenters, and, uh, and, and then a, a new system is going to be in, uh, instituted. Okay, so let's talk about that. What's the end game? Like, why would they want to strangle an entire class of people? What's, what do they want to get to? Control. It's all about control. Um, they're trying to make people dependent on the system. More people that become dependent on the system makes the system stronger. So what they're doing here, and I've outlined this on for several years, is trying to uh, get members of previous members of the middle class and force them to the lower rung of society here. Um, we, what else do we know? I mean, by their own numbers here, we'll use their own numbers. Uh, the the uh, savings rate is now negative. We have people now here, personal debt, household debt, consumer debt, continuing to skyrocket with no end in sight. And what they're trying to sell people is a very interesting thing. They're trying to tell people that swelling debt, either on a micro level, which is the individual, or on a macro scale globally, is growth. They're trying to twist this into some kind of another um, mind-bending scheme that inflating global debt is inflating global growth. Now, nothing could be further from the truth. We know for a fact, again by their own numbers, that the global economy is contracting at its fastest pace ever. But again, the deceptions, the lies, the distractions, the look here, don't look here, it's gonna get a lot worse. I wanna just hone in on something else. I've heard you in past interviews say that you always look to interest rates as a guide as to where the stock market is headed. So what's, what's your take on the S&P? Where do we go from here? <laughs> well, look what they're trying to do here. Um, you know, it's, it's astonishing to me. Several weeks ago, two weeks ago, we had an, that uncontrolled sell-off in, in, the, in the bond market. That 10-year yield started to spike. Um, we were above 3.5%. In fact, we went up like 60 basis points in two days. Um, and that put a lot of pressure on the stock market. Just by coincidence that the European Central Banks started uh, buying more debt and they increased that three times now so far. Now they went from increasing buying debt to increasing more, to increasing even more than that, to now unlimited. Unlimited. And now the Fed's obviously following suit. Look at the 10-year yield today. It's, 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 it's getting bought up. The 10-year uh, yield is dropping. It's an astonishing set of dynamics. And what, they, they, what they're trying to do, very simply, is send a signal to the market saying, hey, you know, don't worry about it. We're going to continue to buy the debt. We're going to continue to suppress rates. So start buying here. Who knows where this can go? Look, nothing matters anymore. When you have central banks buying it all, fostering that risk on environment, meaning pushing cash into the stock market, earnings don't matter, forward guidance doesn't matter, PE ratios don't matter, bad economic news doesn't matter. You see, you see what people need to understand is there's no connection between what the stock market is doing and the economy, okay? There's a big gap here. Uh, the stock market can go up and the economy will continue to free fall here. That gap is probably gonna get wider. Um, look, what do we do? We try to at least understand the dynamics that are in play, realizing that central banks need to continue to inflate and then take the opposite side of that trade. Doesn't mean you, you shouldn't be back here in the market. I've been buying heavily. I'm, I'm back in the market um, at this present time. so. Um, you know, look, just try to understand the current situation and take advantage of it. That, that's really what we need to do.